I'll be like the the voice in the back. <laughs> you could be, I guess, yeah. Like, I'm just gonna show people like, how I make money, the methods I use and shit, cause it's like, you know, I can explain everything going on right now cause no one else is really in the voice chat. This guy is messaging me like, please upload more FSC Darkfire runs with funny commentary or a guide on them, they are fun to watch. Alright, well, I have, I have two shadow keys right now, so I can do one like, bombs only, you know? Or so. Well, no, not bombs only. I'm gonna need the blitz for Vanna. I'm not. I'm not daring to do dark fire Vanna with, with bombs only. Fuck I that, also bro. Fuck that. DBB can't hit him, but still. Huh? I also posted a comment at one point. I believe I said mini. What the new video at? Oh yeah, I probably bought the unboxing when I'm like, nah. <laughs> oh no, I don't care about the unboxing. There was nothing. I did not. Which which video? Oh no, nothing. I was just hoping for a new fucking video. I mean, oh. Video. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm gonna show these guys how I make money, and I pretty much tell these guys, like... As you guys know, that the Celestial Equinox event is going on right now. Which is perfect, because every yeah. promotion there's new things to flip. Pretty much, and the Celestial event is, like, one of the biggest ones you can take advantage of, because... You're forced to pay money in order to get the prize box. Unlike the Winterfest one, where you can buy the prize boxes, but you can also, like, use the coins to get the boxes, this one you're forced to pay for them, like, it's the only well, way to obtain them. Have there have also been like promotions where you can buy them for energy. Yeah, though luckily like, this time there aren't, so it's really only pay to win. Like so, a lot of people decide to buy a bunch of boxes and they unbox a whole bunch of items. Most of the time they get UV tickets, sometimes they get good items. If the person happens to get a whole bunch of good items, they just sell them for cheap, you know what I mean? So, yeah. with that being said, depending on what you can find, um, I would say definitely check out the auction house. You can find a lot of Wolver Tales. Um, spike mohawks, plumes, stuff like that, and they actually sell pretty, pretty easily. Not just because they're wolver tails, or just because you know they're rare items, but also a lot of people like how they look. You know, like celestial stuff looks pretty cool. It's not like anything else in the game. You so know, that increases the demand, right? Exactly. So, like as you can tell, if you have a celestial nav suit, not many things go with it besides the actual nav helm or the guardian helm. Like the the metal sonic mask goes with it, kind of. So I've been wearing that. Uh, and then I just decided, ooh, Divine Round Shades are finally on very short. I've been waiting for these mofos to go on short. Like, damn. It's about freaking time, bro. Like, the beef began. So, yeah. I was waiting on these. Like, they're at 27 point something K for, like, the longest time on short. I'm like, am I even going to bother bidding on them? Because I know they're going to get higher. So, like, I just kept my money and waited. So, I just them to go for around, like, 220K anyway. So, I'm, I'm ready for that. But, yeah. Like, Celestial Wolvertails, generally, you can sell them after the event for... 8.5 to 10 KZE quite easily, maybe even more, but like I say 8.5 to 10 is like the guaranteed sale mark. I'm not trying to give you guys like unrealistic sale prices, you know. During the event, you can you can snag them for like anywhere between 2.5 to like 5 KZE. Like I personally bought one for 250k off the auction house. That was definitely lucky because I'm sure that if anyone else saw that and they had the money to buy it, they would have snagged it. Like that wouldn't have that wouldn't have been there for much longer. But like the one for 4.5 KZE um, I got off a guy who was just unboxing them straight up in Haven, like, you know when people, like, do, like, mass unboxings? So what you can do is you can just stand there and you can just watch what they get, and as they get something, you just simply make offers. You know, like, as soon as they're finished unboxing it, you make the offer, be the first person to get on it. Like, I'm telling you, because you never know, they may just be willing to give it to you really cheap. So, I saw this guy, he got two Celestial Overtails, I'm like, KLR for 4.5 KCE for one. You know, we talked a bit, he did it. And there we go, I got a Celestial Overtail for 4.5 KCE, I decided to wear that because I can't really grab one cheaper. Like, I may hope to get another cheap deal like I got in the auction house, but that's like a 1 in like, a 1 in 500 chance. Like, it's not really gonna happen, so. Potentially, if I bid on this one right here, I may get it cheap, but I'm expecting it to go for more because it's open bid, it's not even a buyout, a set buyout price. Um... But other things you guys can do is like pretty much do trades and trading up. And I can tell you guys this whole sequence that happened to me. Like I ended up buying, wait, did I, was that a tie spitter? I think I just outbid myself by accident. Dead. Okay, so yeah, like it's hard to talk and like focus on the spitting thing at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Like stop outbidding me, bro. You think I'm gonna, yo, this guy thinks I'm gonna lose this bidding war, dog. Like unless you're going up to like 280k, bro where it's like totally unprofitable, then I'm gonna buy this. Just know that, bro. Just know that. Just know. Like... <laughs> Alright, so, with that being said... Um... Oh, Lord's Bro is finally logging on. Okay, so I got five boxes. Um, and then... I got a Celestial Overtail from one, a Celestial Plume from another, two... 
two UV tickets and then one one UV ticket. I use the UV tickets, by the way, those are unbound, so you can sell them, but I decided to use them, because, like, why not? The plume generally sells for 400 to 600 CE during the event. I personally grabbed, like, four of them for, like, 400 to 600 CE. Like, I just got one for 500. The only reason I did that is because I'm trying to do active trading. And what active trading is, is being on the lookout for what people are looking to buy and looking for what people are looking to sell. So, like, even if you are looking for this particular item, you can buy it if you know someone else is looking for the item, you know? For example, there was this person named Guardian of Haven. I thought that he was selling addition like um, Celestial, Bolted V, Plume, Mohawk, Nintendo, etc. But he's actually buying them, so I'm like, I'll offer 2.5k CE, you know? But he's actually, like, want to buy. But, at the same time, since he wanted to buy them, I'm like, how much are you going to pay for the plume? And the reason why I said that is because prior, there was someone who I was talking to who was willing to sell a plume for 500 CE. I was trying to get it for 400, but he said 500. So I'm like, okay, um, I'll just wait off on that because I'm not in a rush for it. And now I decided to grab the plume because there was a guy who wanted it. I didn't know how much he wanted to pay, but I knew he wanted it. I decided to bank on that because not just he wanted that plume, but Nomcat wanted that plume. So it's like, I can either go for Nomcat's deal where he's willing to trade a toasty flower for a celestial plume, which is worth easily 70 to like 90k crowns, or I can go for this guy's offer, which is worth, you know, potentially 600 to 700 CE. Sadly, he did not want it because he found someone else who was selling it for cheaper, like 500 CE, or, or like a bit less than that, I believe. I don't know how much it was, but he, was, he found someone who was selling it for less, so he's like, I don't want it. So I'm like, okay, it's fine. I still have the plume on me. And it's like, I'm not missing out because I know Nomcat's been looking for one, and I purposely mailed him before I bought it, just to make sure that I know he's gonna do the trade before I invest freaking 500 energy on a plume I don't have any use for. So he is comfortable doing that trade. This guy thinks he's gonna outbid me. Fuck you, nigga. I'm bidding on that. And I'm gonna continue teaching my fans how to make money. BAM! So, Celestial Wolvertails are the hottest item for the Celestial. I'm telling you that from now. Like, the Dragon Wings, the Valkyrie Wings, those are really nice. But the Wolver Tails, those flip. Like, when I say they flip, they flip like burgers at McDonald's. Like, they just go on the grill on the auction house and they go, tss, they burn holes in people's pockets. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. they go on the auction house and they sell. And they look cool though, don't they? Like, they have like a little I line through them. They kind of look like they have a constellation built into their tail. Like a little dipper. It's pretty cool. Yeah, but it's like, it's kind of <laughs> plain to me. I guess, I mean, but it's it different. It only works for the celestial stuff. It's the mm -hmm. problem to me. Not really, I'm wearing one right now. But I guess because I have a Celestial Spike Mohawk, it kind of ties in with my color and shit, but... It's, it's like one of those colors that only fits with certain colors. And yeah, like... yeah, that's true, that's true. Like, I was the other color before and it never worked. Bro, this guy is legit pushing my buttons, bro. Like, give me my fucking shades, dog. Bro, like, how am I... B like, dude, this guy thinks I'm gonna give up on my round shades, dog. I've been watching these since they were medium. Like, just give up. Give up, bro. Stop trying. And then how there's like a... How much I have, are you I have, willing to spend on it? Bro, I'm willing to spend like 350k on them. And right now it's at 263. Like right now it's in unprofitable territory, but I plan on using them, so it's like I don't really care. Hey, can you check something for me? Sure. Uh, mm. any bandoliers on? Okay, bando. There's a freeze Val bandolier on, but that's not the same one that you're looking for. Yeah, Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Okay, so yeah, active trading is really good because as you can see right here, Furinator is selling is selling a Rifflocker ASI high. He's also open to trades. Dewey's looking for a Mooncrest, a Hacked Aura. I know Lord Zephos is selling a Hacked Aura, so I'll see how much Dewey's willing to pay for it. Did I spell that wrong? I think I did. There's a dog barking outside. Yeah. I hear that. Oh yeah, so I also gotta talk about those Celestial Dragon Wings. So, another deal I did. Um, you guys know how I got... Admit, literally. Hold on, Vodka, I'm doing a bit. <laughs> okay, so... Well, no, you can still talk, but I was trying to explain something. I got these fancy yeah, writhing harder. tendrils for 7k crowns, which is super lucky. Where is the image? Let's see... It's supposed to be on desktop, on my desktop. And then, like, extremely lucky buy. Okay, so this one I got for 7k crowns, which is really lucky because they normally sell for 600 to 750k. Alright? That was just totally luck. Um, 
I'll just say 25k seed for this guy, because like, I don't even have it on me. I just know Lord Zeebos would probably want like 18k for it. Um, so like, if he wants to do 25k seed, then I can snag it and then profit like 7k seed right there, you know what I mean? Like, you don't have to have the item in your inventory in order to sell it or to profit off it. And it may sound stupid when I say you don't need to have the item in your inventory to sell it, but I just did that right now. Like, Wizzy, he offered me, no, no, um, whatchamacallit, my friend Rog has a Prismatic Wolvertail for sale. And I know that they sell pretty easily. Now, he is desperate to make some money. So I offered him 800k for it. And I threw in a hollow scarf I got for 50k. So that's pretty much around 850k. So now, if I give him like 8.3k CE in that, then technically I'm saving a little bit more than the 800k that I originally offered. And I'm still giving him what he thinks is the same money. And on top of that, I still said want to sell Prismatic Wolvertail even though I don't have it in my inventory yet. Because I know it'll sell quickly and I can get attention for it. Luckily, I got the attention of the right person, and someone is willing to pay 9.5 KCE for it. So I told him, I'll mail him the tail when he comes online. And I've already done deals with him like that before. He knows that, you know, I'm going to give him the thing. I'm not going to scam him because I have too much shit on my account to, like, scam people. So when he comes on, I'm going to buy the tail off him for, like, 8.5 KCE in my hollow or whatever. And I'm going to profit, like, around 1 KCE off of that. You know? So it's like... You don't have to have the item on you to profit from it. You just gotta look for what people are buying and what they're selling. You gotta know what they're paying for it and what they want for it. It doesn't matter how much money you have to spend at the moment because you can still get items for people. You can be like, hey, are you looking for this? I can help you find that, you know? Or be like, you wanna give me the money now? If I find it, then I can give it to you when I get it, you know? Like, of course, there has to be some trust behind that. But it's like, if you're working with your close friends, I mean... It's not too hard. Like, if you're going to be doing it with, oh, wow, this guy outbid me again, I didn't even notice. Dude, you sneaky motherfucker. Okay, so I'm bidding on that again. How am I spending this on freaking round chains, bro? Like, please, just stop outbidding me, dog. Like, bro, this guy is legit pushing my buttons, bro. And I'm pushing this auction house bid button. Like, let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. You want to you want the bidding wars, dog? Let's fucking go, dog. What's up, no? It's at 323k. Like, who does he oh, think man. I am, bro? I'm getting these sh- Yo, dog. Might be a person. Yo, dog, like... freaking Echo Silence niggas be like... Holy cow, bro. This guy is legit making me bid my entire freaking Bro. Yeah, dog. Stop bidding on it, bro. Even though they're worth more, like... Oh my god. These are worth 5k CE though, like the buyout price is fair for this, so it's like, I understand why he's bidding this much, but it's like, come on, like, just fuck off and let me win. <laughs> oh my god, it's 400k now, like, fuck off. Fuck off, bro, fuck off. Rest in peace, Mini. You ain't making no profit, boy. I don't need profit, I want to wear them, that's why I actually care. Oh. <laughs> Dude. Oh, yeah. Dude, you oh my just god! Buy him now, it's at 430k. Oh my god, bro, it's still saving 70 odd k though. <laughs> eh. Oh my god, bro. This nigga, bro. Like, I'm, I'm getting my it? shades, bro. I'm getting my shades. I don't care, like... I'll make oh this money god. back. I'll make this money back, bro. Like, it's nothing to me. Bro, it's 400k. Like, I have a CTR VH... Um, whatchamacallit, Umbra Driver that I got for 5 points on the KCE. Like, pfft. Dude, I'm not, I don't, I don't worry about this. Like, give me my shades, dog. Oh yeah, I was talking about something earlier. So yeah, those fancy riding tundras that I got for 7k. And in the fancy, no, not fancy, um, Celestial Wolvertail that I got for 250k, I used those and I added in 4k CE, I think. Wait, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, I did, yeah, I did those plus 4k CE and I got Celestial Dragon Wings from Thorn Hippo. Those Dragon Wings alone were worth around 20k CE, alright? So now with that 20k CE worth of items, I pretty much got that for around 660k if you think about it because I only paid 250k plus 7k plus 4k CE. So it's like I really just profited over 1 point easily 1.3 mil off of that. But instead of me going directly for the sale, like of course I tried for a bit. I'm like, you know what? I do need some wings on my new nameless pawn show. So it's like I traded them to Bloody Hands. Bloody had prismatic Valkyrie wings which I actually wanted, but it's like I knew my dragon wings were worth more than those. So what I did was I I got him to add in some more items to it. 
And what you can do is that even though people may not have the currency that's worth your items, you can also ask for other items to, to spice up your offer. And you can do the same for other things, you know, like if you want to grab something, you don't have enough CE or CR, you can add in items to it, you know. Sometimes they may not like it because they'll be like, oh shit, I just get more items, I just got to sell them now. Sometimes they actually may appreciate it, you know, they'll, they'll be like, hey, I can actually sell that for make more money than what I was originally asking for. And in this case, that appeals to Thorin Hippo because he is a merchant. And he saw it and he's like, you know what, instead of me trying to finesse my friend for these Celestial Dragon Wings, I'll just simply finesse some noob with these new fancy Rallying Tendrils and Celestial Overtail I got. So he decided, do that trade, it's all good. I got his bloody hands, I traded him my Celestial Dragon Wings for his Prismatic Valks, plus 2 KCE, plus a Celestial Spike Mohawk. The Spike Mohawk alone is worth 120 to 170k, easily. I mean, I was bidding on one yesterday, it went for 122k. I was also looking at one that went for 150k buyout. I was gonna bid on it, and I'm like, do I want to buy it out? I'm like, nah, I can probably get it for cheaper. I hope to get it on the bid. Turns out I never got it, but it's fine because I already got one from Bloody. It's like, you know, if I didn't get it off of Bloody, obviously I would have bought it out. But it's like, I got this one, so it's all good. And now if I, any get, if I get any more, I'm probably just gonna save them, in, save them in my inventory. But yeah, like, as I'm saying, like, you guys can pretty much offer items in, in addition to what you're actually... Um, trying to sell or to buy, you know what I mean? So like, if you don't have enough energy, don't have enough crowns, don't worry about that too much. Especially merchants, like, they like their money, but they also like to have more things that they can sell. Because, think of it like this, they may profit, like, 1 or 2 KC off of one item, but they can also profit a little bit more off of multiple items. They can be like, you know what, I can sell these Celestial, um, Wolver Tails, for like 3 KC more than what it's worth. Plus, I can sell the Rhyling Tendrils for another 2 to 3 KC more than it's worth. Instead of instead of just selling one item for 2 to 3 KC more than it's worth. You know what I mean? So like they're making 6 KC more for the same thing. So offering items plus crowns or energy is still beneficial to you because you're keeping the extra energy and you don't have to work on selling the item. Plus the buyer or the person on the other end also has items which they can sell for potentially more money. And that really appeals to merchants. So I highly recommend you guys just stocking up on items. Like right now I have a crown of, a crest of summer I got for 150k like oh it's on the auction house rip. So yeah, like <laughs> I mean that I got that for 150k. I put up for 180k buyout. Like I don't really care about it. It's just it's just what it is. I'm just going to go ahead and remove this real quick. Helm front accessory. And then I'm going to go put on my new shades. My new shades. Oh, I didn't get them just yet. My new shades. Oh, I did. Where are they? Oh, that's mustache. Round shades. Oh, yo, I got a divine mustache for 250 CE. <laughs> that's how cheap they're going for, Nick. Huh, like, yeah, it's ridiculous. Bro, yeah. yeah, bro. It's fucking, like, oh, I sold these, them these look These look lit. These look lit. Oh, these look lit, bro. These go perfectly. These go way too perfectly. This should be illegal, dude. Look. No, bro. This is illegal. Look how closely matching this is. That's just impossible. What the fuck are you on about? This is divine, bro. Why do they match so perfectly? This is like prismatic. We're Dude, boy. I gotta join you, bro. Oh, you're, I'm in Bazaar. Oh, I'm in Bazaar, bro. This is ridiculously how close Should matching they are. To you or are you yeah, come to punch. My punch, my nigga, you know? Alright, yeah, so yeah, like... And there's that. What else have I done recently? Um, oh yeah, so as I was saying, like, you know, trading items, but really just paying attention to what people are buying and selling, like, I already emphasized about the lockboxes, you guys know that those are profitable, I already talked about using the wiki, you know, looking for people's offers and stuff like that, like, people may have shit that they just want to sell really quick, and they want to get the most outreach that they can, because the auction house and the trade channel doesn't reach every single person, at least if you do that, plus using the forums and you get the most outreach, so you never know, you may find forum posts for players who quit the game already and they're just trying to sh sell shit that's in their inventory. You know, and they're like, hey, you know what, just reply to me on forums or add me on Steam because I'm always on Steam. When you want the item, I'll just log on and give it to you, you know? So you never know, like, I mean, Thrill House quit, he was selling like ASI men's and stuff like that, 6KCE. Basic deals, you know? Also, Lords, um, Rog wants your Voltage and I your know. Blitz, but I, I think... I Blitz only. Yeah, but I'm he's right now. but he's kind of under offering, bro. In my opinion, he's offering he's like nine KC. He's offering me ten K for the bits. All right, how much did you pay for a nine? I paid nine for it, yeah. But because mm, you know, I could you, sell it for You could more, get more I'm though. Lazy, he's my friend, so I'll give him. Nah, 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 nah. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can get eleven off him. Like he's my friend too. But the reason why I'm saying this is because he's selling items to me right now. 
So I know he's gonna have the money. So you might as well get a fair price for it, bro. Like, eh, I already told him 10k. Damn, you slipped. You could have gotten an extra 1k CE, but it's fine. Like, in my he opinion, did, he, he made me so many like offers and shit. He actually made the two damage bonus module things. And, all right, you know, all right, true, fine. true. Fair enough, fair enough. Like, I'm just, I'm just in it for the money right now. Like, I'm in my merchant mode. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I mean, I did, I like did 1k off of that deal in one day. I can't complain. True, true. I can still get like 11k for the voltage. Mhm. Mm okay. What else do I recommend you guys doing? Um, shadow keys are also really profitable. If you can grab them on the auction house, I believe one is in the AH right now for like 90k bid. Though it was on a long time when I checked it not too long ago, like literally 20 minutes ago. So, it's I'm not worried about that bid going just yet. Sadly, that's acting like a cock block for me though, because I can't sell my own shadow keys on the auction house. Because why would they bid on mine if theirs is going for like 90k? You know, <laughs> so it's like, damn, I paid 1.4 KCE for mine, which is a really good price. I got both of them for that price, but I can't sell them on the auction house until that 90k one goes, unfortunately. So I'm only forced to tra sell it through Trade Channel, which is not really helping me at the moment. Like, people know I have the keys, but no one really wants them at the moment. Like, I just gotta wait for someone who wants them. Like, instead, I'm just trying to sell the actual slots I can get. If you guys do the math, 375 times 3 is around 1,175. Five, if 400 times 2 is 1200 so let me see 375 times 3 yeah almost 1125 no, close enough so like I have a shadow key as well mm -hmm. I so, remember yeah so I'm trying to sell these slots for 375 CE each um and you can pretty much make your money back so if you think of it I pay 1.4 you get 30k from the lair plus you get the maidens tier so you're just profiting around like 10 to 17k Reason why I say it's 10 to 17 is because it depends on how much you actually sell the maidens tier for. Um, but yeah, like. Probably like 15k. Yeah, 15 around there. I'm selling mine for 17 on the auction house, but that's if it sells for buyout. Sometimes it just sells for the 13k bid it goes for, but whatever. It's all profit, right? <laughs> True. I mean, if you buy the keys for 1.4, you can't really complain. Exactly. Because, like, I used to buy them at 1.5, and it's like 1.5 is still a good price, but it's like, if you get it for 1.4, then you really. Then you can celebrate, like. There's many desperate people just trying to quick sell the shadow keys and you can profit off that. Exactly. It's like, like I offered 1.4 and they jumped at it. Like, I felt kind of bad because I'm like, they never even second thought it. It's like, what if I offered 1.2? What would she have said? <laughs> you know? It's like, they just jumped at it, bro. Like, I'm like, 1.4. They're like, deal, trade. I'm like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I should have offered less. <laughs> they probably thought they were getting a good deal. <laughs> Pro perhaps, yeah. Mm, Queen of Phoenix selling a Regal Tomb Raider for 200k. Those aren't bad. I mean, hmm. Oh well, yeah, I, I, owe, I owe Bandit Boy like 6k in CE because he bought me this, whatchamacallit, Celestial, no not Celestial Wolvertail, um, Military Extension Cord, so I gotta mail in that back. Let's see, do do do, do. was it that, or was it that, how do you spell his name, Zeus, Boy. Oh, I was talking oh. about Zeus, yeah. This guy, yeah, because he's selling devious horns, right? And I told someone that he was selling them. But I didn't know how to spell Zeus, because like, he doesn't spell it like the Greek god. He spells it differently. It's kind of weird. Z-E-U-U-S isn't like a W? Yeah, it's Z-E-U-U-E-S. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I wish you could roll the C-E. One second, I'm just typing this up. There we go. Sent them his money. Now, what else can you guys do? Like, really buying low. Like, the whole point of merching is getting items which are worth are worth more than what you originally paid for them. That's really everything comes down to that. And that's why everything comes down to. But every single trade you do, you should never be obtaining less than what you're giving. The worst that you can do is be trading neutral. And the only time you trade neutral is for if the item that you're trading for is easier to sell than the item that you're giving, or the item that you're trading for is going to be used by you. Otherwise, well actually no, also if you're trading if you're trading for something that's worth less than yours, if you're going to use it, then I understand, but it's like, 
I don't know. I would say if you're trading for something that's worth less than yours, you might as well just be selling yours for the money that you can originally get and then buying that item that's worth less straight out and paying less for it, you know? Like, there's no point trading down for something unless they're juicing up the deal with another item. Like, it just makes no sense. It's like, why are you going to be giving up a hollow scarf for a sun crest, you know? Like, why are you get like why are you going to trade a sun crest for a hollow scarf, you know? Like, the scarf is worth, like, literally a third of the price. Not even a third, more like a quarter or a fifth. I mean, you know, you guys shouldn't be doing that kind of stuff. You guys should really look up the prices of things. I highly recommend just like, you know, making friends with merchants, looking at the auction house, looking what things are going for, going to the wiki and stuff, and knowing your prices, because that's really what helps you guys make the money. Like, people be like, yo, Mini, how much is this worth? How much is this worth? I don't take advantage of those people. I won't be like, yo, this is worth like 5KCE, even though it's worth like 7KCE. You know, I'm not going to do that to them. I'll tell them how much it's worth, and I'll straight up tell them like, yo, you can get this for it. And I'll be like, I'm willing to offer you 6 for it if you want to get rid of it right away, but you can get 7 for it. Like, that's what I would do. And sometimes they end up doing the 6 and they'll be like, you know what, like, cool. Thanks for helping me with the pricing. Like, I don't really care about this. I just want to know how much it's worth. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, I don't really want that. I'll just wait for the right for the right buyer. Like, it doesn't really matter. But the point is, as a merchant, your job is to be honest and to help people. You know, whether it be, like, just giving them price checks or giving them good deals or if you're helping them find items that they've been looking for for, like, a month or so. It's really, it's really to be a nice contributor to like the actual economy. That's your job as a merchant. You help keeping items cycle, help the newbies get the expensive items that they can't get, and help yeah, and get those. Yeah, you prices to 10k fucking CR per 100. <laughs> More like we make them lower actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because we're constantly, okay, we're constantly price. converting over. Well, to be fair, the seat prices are going down. Yeah, like it's actually nice to buy go. some more. Like, geez, I should probably buy some. I don't have any CR. Do 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 do. All right. So yeah, like doing that. Um. Let's see. Are there any other deals that I have going on right now that I think is profitable enough? Like. Hmm. Well, I got this divine mustache for two hundred two hundred and fifty CE. Do you want this mustache back? Cause you already gave me one. <laughs> sure. I so mean, I I'm not fucking making any profit with it, but. Well, if I give I it mean, to you, I then... I may as well put it on something. Well, I mean, if I give you the mustache, and I don't owe you a mustache anymore, you know what I mean? True. So, you can keep it, and then I don't owe you one. So, then, okay, I just paid off my debt for 250 CE. And <laughs> I have a mustache, which I can potentially sell for an additional, like, 500 CE, if I can find a buyer for it, which might take a while, but at least I'm not losing out. So, as I'm saying, I'll guys... i just put this on something. Yeah, that, that works. Look at this costume, though. I think it works, don't you think? I like the uh, Wolvertail yeah, on sure. it. People, like people, people don't like the Wolvertail, but I'm like, it actually goes with it, don't you? Th I, I think it goes with well, it. You have the Celestial Mohawk, so it kind of fits with that. Yeah, like I had the Dragon Wings too, but it's like, eh. I ended up just selling them, like trading them for. I have to start making a costume now that I have some money, but I'm just like too stingy. <laughs> I'm like a fucking Jew. I don't want to give money for that shit. Don't kill me. Yeah, like right now I'm not doing bad on money. Like I still have that CTR VH Umbra up. Though that power mint did sell for 800k, I wanted like 10 to 15k C for it, but it sold for 800k bid. But it's fine, so I, did, I originally traded my Celestial Overtail for it, for that, plus a Galactic Guardian Helm. That was one of my first deals that I got from the Equinox prize boxes. I got um, a Celestial Overtail, and then I traded that for the power mint and the Galactic Guardian Helm, which I sold the Helm for 150k, and the power mint for 800k. So, there you guys go, 900k for a Celestial Overtail, pretty much. As I tell you, they sell. <laughs> they sell. It doesn't mean that you that you're selling them for nine fifty direct, but you can always like do your flips around. Let's go to Gilta. All right. Crowded. All right. I'm just gonna post my one to sell list real quick so I'm they can. Gonna, I'm gonna stock the fucking auction house somewhere. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. So guys, this is also why knowing your prices is really important. If you know your prices on the fly, you can make really good deals. Like I told you guys already that you know people ask you for price checks, but it's like imagine this. Someone just spent like, you know, 60 bucks on 14 Equinox prize boxes or however, however much they cost. And you're watching them and you see everything they open up. If you played the game long enough, you'll know all these icons here by the, from the top of your head. This helmet top, helmet rear, or helmet back, helmet top, helmet top, helmet rear, or helmet back, helmet back, helmet back, helmet back, armor front, helmet top. It's so like if you know all of those accessories, then you know exactly what they're getting. And the reason why I say you know exactly what they're getting is because there's a certain there's a certain pool with everything that they can get. So like if you were to go to the Equinox, 
Oh, I swear it should be my history. Hmm. Should be my history, but fucking, I'll just, I'll just look it up here for you guys. So, if you were to go to usables, prize box, and you were to look up the Equinox prize box. Equinox. There we are. So, Equinox prize box. If you were, if they were to open up a helmet top, without even looking, you would know that they're either getting a Celestial Spike Mohawk or a Celestial Bolted V. There are no other helmet top accessories available from this box. So right there, you know exactly what they get. You don't want to offer on that. If they get something that has this kind of an icon over their head, then you know they got some good shit. Those are, those are always going to be wings. There, there are no other things from that prize box that are armor rear. I mean armor back. If they get an armor rear, you know that they're going to be a tail. So from there, you can know what people are getting. People are like, oh, what you get? What you get? I know what they get before they even tell you. So you can make an offer while he's still telling people what he got. So by the time they find out what he got, I'm already making an offer on the item, and he's like, hey, I'll do that for it. I trade in the item, then people are going to be like, hey, how much you want for that? And he'll be like, hey, sorry, I already sold. And that's what happens to me all the time. Like, I remember yesterday, this guy opened up a flower. You know, he got some sort of helmet top accessory from a box. I'm like, hey, I know it's either going to be a bolted V, a flower, or a halo. I'm like, how much you want for that? And he's like, I just got a fancy flower. I'm like, okay, I'll give you 500 CE. Boom. <laughs> People are like, what is that? <laughs> and they're finding out exactly what he's getting. is like a fancy flower. He's like, hey, I'll buy it. I'll buy it off you. And he's like, sorry, I already sold. The guy comes right to me. He's like, I'll give you 1.2 KC for it. I'm like, okay, deal. You know? <laughs> Like, it's easy profit if you just know what things are, you know? So that's why I recommend, like, if you guys see lockboxes, just look at what they're getting. Make offers actively, you know? The worst case scenario is they don't accept your offer. But it's not being a dick if you offer them, like, 500 CE for a flower. Like, half the time, they're just going to be like, yo, like, I just spent 750 CE on this key. Like, you know what? I'll take some of my money back. Like, it's whatever. It's not like you're scamming them. 50k for a flower is still fair. You know, it's just a flower. And then I also managed to buy it back for 68k, which I can then flip again for another 1k CE, which isn't as much of a profit, but I mean, it is a fancy flower. I could get more. Like, I never realized it, but the color actually really does matter when it comes to flowers. It's not exactly what kind of flower it is, but it's more like what kind of color it is, if that makes sense. Like, people will say that, like, um, toasty is worth more than fancy for other things, you know? Like, when it comes to vertical vents, toasty vertical vents are worth more than fancy vertical vents. But toasty flowers are worth much, much less than fancy flowers. And the reason being is if you look at the color of the fancy flower, it's a nice vibrant pink. You know, girls love that color. Even guys with like, you know, a purple or kind of like a dark kind of theme on their costumes, they're going to want to get that kind of accessory. You know, and on top of that, it's probably going to be a bit rarer. In a way, like, in a way. I mean, tentacle yellow flowers are the same rarity. Divine flower, prismatic flower are accepted. I haven't even seen a uh, shadow flower before in my entire SK career, like, I don't even know if they exist, perhaps they do, and I just haven't seen one, like, I'm gonna look it up right now on the wiki, I wonder if a Shadow Flowers, Flowers are a thing, like. So, so I see Wolver, Tail is up for bids in the auction house for 250k on medium. Yeah, still on, man, I'm if watching you that. Lucky, if you get lucky, you can get a good deal off that. Yeah, I'm watching it still. Regal oh, Side Blade is 14.4k, <laughs> very short, I'm grabbing that. Yeah, like, trust me, the auction house is your friend. It really is your friend. You still recording? Yeah, sadly, but you can still talk, like, it's perfectly fine. We're all just here cooling, I'm just showing these people what to do in order to get some more money, so... These Dusky Munitions pack, I lost down on that last night, I was bidding on it at, like, 3 in the morning. How much did I end up going up to? I went up to, like, 20-odd K, and then they sold for... how much? Where is it? Where is... It? oh no, I was bidding up on a Dusky Vita kit, and then they sold for 26 K, and I got outbid on that, so I'm like, hmm. So these Dusky I'm Munitions gonna, pack, they should probably sell for like 23k. I'm gonna be working on a new video. Nice, nice. Yes. Prismatic Seraph Tenors, I do not know how much they go for, but I've seen them around a fair bit, so it's like... I'm not too keen on going after them. You know, but they are still probably profitable. I'm not surprised if they'll sell for 155. Like, I know I'm probably gonna get out bid if I were to bid on them. So I will bid on them, actually, because I'm sure that's profitable. <laughs> I'm sure 155k for that is profitable, but I don't think I'm going to get it for that. Like, there should probably but they're not like exactly 200. really popular. Yeah, they aren't. That's the thing. So I guess that's beneficial to me if people are looking for them. You know? But it's, it's whatever. Really hurts, Perhaps. But if I get it for 155k, then I know that if I find someone who wants it, I can definitely get at least 2kz for that. 
easily. It's prismatic. it's prismatic. Exactly. Like, Prismatic Spiral Horns last night, I was bidding on it, I was like 360k, and they sold for like, how much? 400-ish? Where is it? Am I blind? Where the fuck? Where is it? I was just bidding on it last night. There they are. Prismatic Spiral Horns. 400k outbid. Me and Forever Cake were going at this from when it was 50k, bro. We were going at it. Like, we were going at it. And then I eventually gave up a 400k. I'm like, yeah, fuck that. Like, you can have it, bro. And as soon as they sell, he's like, want to sell Prismatic Spiral Horns. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> like, it was Forever. Like, when I found out who I lost that bid war to, bro, I'm like, you're lying. I'm like, Forever K beat me in a bidding war? Like, <laughs> I'm like, you're lying. And I had the money to go higher, but it's like, one, I didn't know how much they're worth. Because I, I still don't know how much they're worth, to be honest. Like, Spiral Horns, on general, they're selling for, like, 50 to 100k. But Prismatic, I haven't seen them before. So I was like, how much do those go for? I don't know. So I guess he just took a risk on it and just went for I the 400k. I've seen Prismatic. Yeah, that's so like, they're, they're hella rare. So I'm like, okay, I'll do 400k for them. Because I'm sure that they're worth something. But it's like, I don't know. Like, I was just kind of iffy about it, you know? But, hey, like, I'm not really bummed out about that loss. Because, like, I'm sure I wouldn't have sold it by now anyways. And now I have enough money to bid on that Wolvertail. <laughs> so, I mean, it's all, it's all beneficial. This Crest of Summer I bought out for 150k. They go for around 150k, but I could get more for that, for sure. Like, 2k CE, 200k. Um, when I talk about CE right now, I'm talking at CE being 100. Like, worth 10k per 100, even though it's not. But, like, my rates that I'm, like, talking about in video are, like, technically 10 per 1. So, it, like, makes math easier for you guys. But, like, really, it's right now it's around 9.4 per 100. So, just keep that in mind, like, while I'm talking. But, I mean, this video is almost done pretty much. Like, I'm just speaking about all the different methods that you guys can make money. Like, it's really just taking advantage of the auction house. Like, these eyes over here, I grabbed plus eyes for 44.9k. Vacant eyes, I got out bid at 40k. X eyes, I got for 35k. Plus eyes, again, I got for 27.7k. That was a good deal. Um, but what you guys really want to get are the Jolly Eyes, those sell for a lot, Starry Eyes, those sell for a lot, um, what other eyes, Almond Eyes, those sell for a lot, Determined Eyes, those sell for a lot, Vacant Eyes don't sell for much, Plus and Sad Eyes don't sell for that much, but, I mean, I still got them anyways, the Plus Eyes and the X Eyes, X Eyes do sell for a decent amount of money, like around 60k, but really it's the Jolly Eyes, the Almond Eyes, the Starry Eyes, and the, and the Love Eyes, Love Eyes sell for like 300k. So, if you can get those, then boom, that's good. I think I got the Regal Side Blade. No, I got the Dusky Munitions back rip. Am I still highest bid on the Side Blade? No, I got outbid. Oh, damn. Okay, so yeah. I'm bidding on that again. Like, the Regal Side Blade can fetch me 35k. So, I mean, technically anything up to 30k is fine. It's on very short right now, so, hmm. I think the person may just Why keep on going against me. me. Fucking bidding. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't kill me. Okay, you can have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. It's way too much effort for me for 10k CR. Like I can do a banner run in 20 minutes for the same money. It's fine. All right. Well, while you have fun doing banner run, I'll just keep on bidding on shit. <laughs> keep, yeah, sure. Keeping my ass here, nice, warm, and cozy, without having to lift a you, finger. You, you can you can that though to your shit boy. I don't want that. <laughs> Yo, yesterday I was yesterday I was bidding up against Rog for that spike mohawk. He's like, yo, I'm trying to get oh, a mohawk. Really? Yeah, and I'm like, oh, true, I'm bidding on one too. He's like, which one? I'm like, Celestial. And he's like, wow, I was bidding on that too. And as soon as he said mohawk, I knew he was gonna bid on it. So I just lied to him and saying I was gonna spend like spend up to 250k just to deter him. <laughs> yeah, he's like, yo, wow. fuck it, I'm not going up against you. And I never even ended up spending that much. Like he just left. <laughs> he just went to FSC. <laughs> I'm like, don't kill me. Like, wow, it, bidding is a mind game. And to keep in mind, when you bid friendships fucking fall apart. <laughs> <laughs> when you bid friendships fall apart, it's true. It's true. Still, like yesterday, nobody saw me. I was a ghost. Like I was just in front of Haven. Like technically, everyone saw me, but nobody saw me. Like they never saw me in Clockworks or in Lockdown. Like there's like what happened to Minnie. They're like always just chilling in front of the auction house all day long. Like I turned into like a Thorin Hippo yesterday. Like yesterday, I profited like 30 KCE just on trains. Like it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Yesterday I had a freaking great day. Like, I got this CTR VH Umbridge I off of Pharanox for, like, literally 5.8 KCE. He wanted 6, I'm like, I'll do 5.8. Like, if you're that desperate to sell it, obviously you're going to be super desperate. So I'm like, hey, I'll give you 5.8. No, I said 5.5 when he said 5.8, and I settled for that because I know either way it's worth over 10. So I put it up for 700k bid very long. So I have, like, two days left, almost uh, two days left. 
Sadly, there's no bids on it yet, but I expected to get at least one bid when it's on like medium. Like, no one's gonna pass this up, bro. 700k, 700k for CTRVH plus slime med, dude. Like, if you pass that up, you have to be broke. Like, I know that there's probably people who want it and they just can't afford it. Like, that's what it has to be. Like, there's no way that you have money and you're gonna pass this up. Whether you have money to flip or you just have money, like, you, you're just gonna buy it. Like, you're just gonna look at it. It's like the Wolvertail right now. Like, you're not gonna pass that up. It's just one of those kind of deals. Regal side blade. I think I just got outbid again. Rip. Let's see. The Wolvertail. That's also worth something, though. I wouldn't really want to spend more than 475k on that. Reason being is because they do sell, but right now it's still this Celestial event, and I can probably find other items. Not just that, but it's like. I'm almost running low on crowns right now. Like, I have like 13k CE and then 300 something k crowns, so. I'm probably going to want to sell some more shit before I start bidding. So I really don't like being under 500k. Like, normally I don't like being under a mil, but like, that's me being under a mil by doing nothing. Like, if I'm bidding on things, then I can go down to 500k. Right now, I'm bidding on more shit, like the Prismatic Seraph Tennis, so that put me under 500k. But yeah, like, this is kind of that territory where I don't like being in. Because if something really comes up, like if a Celestial Overtail comes up right now for like 400k buyout, I can't buy it. You know, <laughs> so you, you really want to have extra cash just laying around, whether it be on an alternate account where you can just mail it over quick time and just simply buy something or you just have it on your main account. Like the threshold for you guys should be 500K. Like once you make 500K, never go underneath it. You know what I mean? Like that's really what you want to be doing. So you can always profit off of things that come up last minute. Like this crest of summer, I bought it out for 150K. Buyout, not bid, buyout. Like you can't do that if you only have 50K crowns on you, you know. And I understand it may take you some time to work up to it, but once you work up to it, it's so much better. Think of it like this. There are these things called brackets. Like, there are certain brackets that you guys can work in to make your money. If you guys have, like, 50k, you're working in the 50k bracket, where you're flipping things like bomb bandoliers, where you're buying them on, like, 20k, and you're flipping them for, like, 45k. That was me in the 50k bracket. When you're at the 100k bracket, you're flipping things like mohawks and vertical vents you're buying them for like you know 60 to 70k selling them for like 100 to 120k that's your 100k mark when you're at the 150k mark you're selling crests you're selling mohawks like like the actual mohawks like the prismatic ones the celestial ones you're selling what else is around the 150k mark mostly the crests and stuff like that that's what sells quickly you're buying those for around like 80 to like 110k and selling them for like 150 to 180k um, when you're in the 200k mark, like, you guys understand what I'm saying, like, there's different brackets where you can profit, and the higher the bracket, the more you can profit, for example, if you're in the 50k mark, you can only buy bandoliers for, like, 25k, flip them for, like, 50k, and now if you're at, like, 5 mil, well, no, I won't even go that far, if you're at, like, a mil, or, like, 500k, even 500k, you can, like, potentially buy a pair of wings that are on bid for 350k, like, I saw cool dragon wings, only 350k bid, no bids, I was a stubborn mofo, I never bid on them, and I regret it because someone wanted to buy them later on in the same day for like 500 something k, I'm like, ooh, even though it's kind of lowballing, I would have profited either way, so it's like, I could have bought them, but I didn't, but it's like, if you guys have that kind of money, you can, and then you'll profit 150k, more than you'll ever profit in one of the lower bench, in one of the lower brackets, so your goal is to work the higher brackets, to work at higher end stuff, so like, People who are up in like the 20 case E, 1 mil, 2 mil, 3 mil brackets, they're flipping shit like, you know, ASI UV items, they're flipping shit like, you know, Dragon Wings, Valk Wings, all that stuff. They're buying them for like 10 KCE, 1 mil. You know, they'll spend a mil, they'll make that 1.4 mil. They're profiting 400k off of one flip, compared to you in the 50k bracket, who is selling 20k and making like 30k off it. So like, you guys may spend the same amount of time trying to find buyers and find sellers, but they're making more while you're making less. Now you see what I'm saying? Once you're rich, not trying to brag or anything, but once you're rich, you stay rich. Exactly. When you're poor, it takes a lot more time to build up. But once you build up, don't ever go back down because it'll take you longer to build up than when you're already high and you can sustain yourself. And I found that out the hard way. Because I would get rich and I would splurge all my money and be like, yo, I got freaking five mil, let's go. Rolls away two <laughs> mils on UVs. You see me, I rolled away two mils on UVs, bro. And like the next day, I'm like, I'm. Yeah, <laughs> next day, I'm like, shit, I spent away two mil. I could have flipped this. I could have flipped that. Like, <laughs> you know, but it's whatever. Like, you learn from your mistakes. And like, I mean, I did get good UVs, but it's like, there's nothing stopping me from just flipping more shit and then rolling on UVs later on in the week. Like, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. I was just impatient, you know? But yeah, like, I highly recommend you guys never going below 500k. 
and just working your best to stay above that because once you're there life will be so much easier when your trinket slots expire you're not gonna have to worry about shit i have to buy trinkets like no you're not worrying about that it's just freaking 150 ce people be like yo do you have 200 ce so i can buy some advanced orbs you know you can get an advanced orb it's nothing you know what i mean like that's the kind of point that you guys are trying to get up to like once you're at 500k don't feel like you're rich keep going strive to do better that's your goal once you're at a mill like me work to get more than that i've gotten to a mill multiple times i'm like you know what i want to get the 10 mil that's my current goal at first i wanted to do that to get that triple max bkc off of lel and i'm still kind of wanting to do that but it's like even if i don't manage to do that at least i achieved my own personal goal of getting 10 mil you know i've never had that much money in hardcore cash in my entire sk career i sold a twilight aura i never got that much you know so and even then i still never had that much kind of money like ever like ever that's one of my goals to try and get super rich like and that's not even that rich bro like i've seen people sell me 1.5 mil ce in a trade like it's just stupid it's legit stupid how much money people have like this guy in like lord's bro told me that hunter xsy showed him like 800 kc in a trade like you know that's a lot of money bro that's like 80 mil like <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous bro it's ridiculous people have money you just gotta just don't get ahead of yourself because with all that money you're like tempted to roll and buy super shit and then in the yeah. end you'll have nothing that was me last night before i went to you bed to be responsible exactly there was a sun crest on the auction house for 84k bid long time and i'm like i had to go sleep i was burnt out i was in front of the auction house for over 40 hours straight like the only time i left the screen was to go take a piss or to go get food it's funny because it's true it's true he was there like for like multiple times like he went to sleep like, he wokes up and he's I like mini are you to sleep and he was still there in front of the auction house. <laughs> when he woke up in the morning he's like mini are you still here did you go to sleep yet then Sora Not wakes bad. up a few hours later, he's like, Mini, did you go to sleep yet? I'm like, nah. <laughs> like, I got these bits to bid on, boy. That's me, yo. I'm looking at this Regal side blade, and I'm like, do I even want to keep going? Oh, it already ended. 22.8 rip. I bid it on it, and it said it ended. Like, wow, that's harsh. Wow. That's my fault for talking and getting carried away. <laughs> Fuck, bro. Oh, I was, gonna, gonna, I was gonna bid on that, bro. I got carried away. That's my fault. Uh, but it's alright. Like, that's pretty much what you guys want to do. As I was saying, though, there was a sun crest on the auction house for a long time left, and I was burnt out, so I went to go sleep, right? But before I went to go sleep, I'm like, you know what? I want to put up a bid that I know I at least stand a chance against people who want to buy this for profit, right? So I bid it on this for 250k, because I know that they sell for around, you know, 250 to, like, 3.5k ZE, like, you know. So I bid in, like, the lowest end what a person would pay for it, you know? And I was selling it today, everyone's offering me 250k, you know, so I'm like, okay, at least I paid my value for it, but I'm like, I'm going to try and get more. I'm going to try and get at least 300k for it. Like, I noticed it's going to be a little bit harder to sell at that price because I got it for expensive. Like, I paid market value for it, but at the end of the day, I paid market value. I never made a loss. I still got it. Plus, this is an Equinox item. Right now, it's the Equinox event. So, A, people are going to be looking at it, and B, there are going to be more of them in circulation. So, it's easier to sell, but it's easier to buy. Now, later on, it'll be easier to sell, but also less, well, no. Harder that's, to buy. Yeah, in a way. Harder to buy, easier to sell. That's what I wanted to say. Thank you. Because people are going to be wanting them, and there's going to be less to have, you know, like less to buy. Most people have already equipped them, or like they're trying to get a shit ton of money because they know the event is over. So, like, I'll be that guy, be like, hey, I won't scam you. I'll give it to you for 350k, <laughs> you know, and I profit 100k off of that. So, like, I'm, I'm happy with that, you know. So, I mean, I was pretty lucky, though. Like, perhaps if I got out bid, like, you know, I wouldn't have gotten it. But, luckily, I got it. So, I'm good. But, yeah, guys. Like, you really just got to focus and know your prices. Like, the Celestial Nav Suit right here, I was bidding on it. I gave up early on it, and I lost at 81k. So, I know that the person, like, wasn't really going after it that hard. And that no one else was going after it. Like, I thought it was multiple people bidding, like, the way I was getting out bid. But it was really only one person, so... I don't know how far they would have went after it, but I know that this person named I'm Not Laura is willing to pay up the 200k for one. So it's like, I could have bid 150k on it and just call it a night, but it's like, I don't want to pay market value for a costume simply because I, I didn't know if she was still looking for it at the time. Like, I know she was looking for it, like, before she logged off, but she wasn't online. So it's like, you know, I, I was just kind of uncomfortable doing it because I wouldn't want to try to flip that. So I didn't. But it's fine, it's not really a loss, I still have my money, you know. It's just knowing who wants to have what. So, like, I know that she's still maybe looking for it, I don't know. Um, I could ask her. I'll ask her right now, actually. I'll see if I took an L or not. 
<laughs> Let's see if I took the L. Let's see. Yes or no? Dun dun dun. Waiting for an answer. She says I have. Boom. I didn't take the L. Aha. Okay. So I did the good thing and I let them have it. Loki, it could have been like one of her friends was bidding on it for her and then she got it. <laughs> And she's like, Celestial Cat till I have two. Nice, nice. Okay. So yeah, like, I'm looking for bids for people. Like, I'm looking for items for other people, you know what I mean? Like, you can do that and you can make your money. So, that's really all it is. Knowing your prices. Knowing what people are willing to pay for things. Like, Rel was looking for a deadly charcoaler. I'm um, like, I'll sell you one for 9kce. I know Nomcat and Amira C is selling one for 7kce. But Rel is not a noob. She knows about the farms and stuff. So she looked up beforehand and she knew that there were people selling them for 7 so like she told me that she found one for seven, but like if she didn't know about the forums and she never knew about those offers, I could have probably sold it to her for nine and just bought it off to the guys for seven. So like those are kind of things you guys can do, like looking bro, for bro. things. Yo, bro, tails tails on short for six hundred eighty k. You're lying. See, this is why you guys don't go under freaking a mil. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn it, bro, I'm at three ninety. Shame, cause I have like enough in C, but I don't have enough in CR to put on it. Yeah, see, I'm not gonna it's bother converting. Pain. But it's like I'm not worried about that because yesterday this guy, you know, he paid me one point three mil for mine, so it's like. Yeah, but still, it's uh, so an easy flip. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. If you get it for that price, that is. Mm. Oh God, that fucking annoys me because I could easily make a couple KC off that. <laughs> yeah. Well, damn. Come on, Rock, fucking pay me, please. I know, this I'm guy's not online. I'm just waiting for Rock to come on to buy my Blitz. It's, uh, I'm waiting for him to buy my damn Wolvertail. <laughs> oh, I know, to buy his Wolvertail. Oh, waiting on Rock. The person already paid me to buy his item. Like, I'm just waiting to buy it so I can give it to the person. So, like, I'm not really in a rush. I want them Tails, Tails, boy. Because, like, the guy paid me, like, 9.5 KCE and I'm selling it to him. F I'm selling. Wait, no. The guy paid me 9.5 KCE and I'm buying it off a of ROG for like 8.5 so that's one KZE for me just being the middleman and it's funny cause he's like can I try it on before and I'm like I don't have it I'm buying it off of someone he's like who's the guy selling it I'm like I can't tell you that's my link he's <laughs> like I'm trying not to give all the money to ROG <laughs> sorry bro but it's like I know that if he asked you to try it on why would ROG come to me then like if he goes directly to ROG and then ROG's like I'm the one selling it then ROG not gonna me any money he's gonna take it all for himself so I'm gonna be the middleman and take my fee as being the person hooking you guys up with the deal. Like, I'm doing a job for you. I'm helping you sell your item and I'm helping you get your item. So you guys gotta pay me for hooking you guys up, you know? It's, it's what it is. Like, it's not me being a dick. It's not me being, like, a greedy bastard. It's me, like, pretty much making my own way in the game and making my money. It's not like I'm scamming people. Like, would you, like, would you be mad if someone, um, whatchamacallit, if you were looking for an item and someone told you the buyer and like they asked you for money afterwards for hooking hooking you up with that deal, like not even much, like 500 CE or some shit, and like you're looking for a long time for the item, like that's nothing, that's really nothing, bro. And like it's not like you have to do it. Like there's been times when people are like, oh yo, thanks, and they just send me the money just because I did it, you know. That's why I started doing that, like charging people to help them find items because I know they'll pay for it, like. They'd be like, yo, can you find me this? I'll pay you 500 CE extra on top of the sale price. Like, it's pretty simple. Easy money, free money. All you gotta do is look around, know your resources, know your prices, know your links. That's it. What I would also advise is keep an eye out for people quitting SK because you can get amazing deals for, you know, some UV weapons or accessories. Yes. Like me, uh, I, I got those CTR high blitz and voltages for like 9k each and I could easily sell them for like 11k. Easily, yeah. Like right now, he has an offer for 10k CE like, on his blitz, and he's a friend. So I'll go yeah. with for him. It's still profit of 1k E in a day, so yeah, okay. it's still profit. Yeah, I know you. I know you want to see that CE on the bottom of your screen. It's like, yeah, I have 10k now. <laughs> 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 yeah, but you can definitely sell that for more. At least the Volta. Oh, me though. yo, oh yeah, you weren't online yesterday. I was gonna buy this for you, the CTR Med Voltage. But like I oh, didn't know how much, much you're willing to pay. I didn't know how much you were willing to pay. How much was it? I don't know. Like they're just saying one is sell CTR my oh. voltage. The name is the same girl I was talking about. It's this. Shit. It's I'm not Laura. She's online right now. You can oh. ask her. I don't know if she sold it yet. But just be like, are you still selling it? Because you never know. If anything, you may be able to trade her your CTR high voltage for her CTR med, and she throws in some energy. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm asking like right now. Exactly. She's an OCH. So yeah, guys. Like. 
knowing about your players like LEL is quitting right now though LEL wants like pretty much high-end prices for high-end shit like she's not gonna or he LEL I don't even know if LEL's a guy like LEL looks like a girl with the costumes like people say it's a he so like I don't know I'm just gonna say it so like LEL wants like pretty much market value for all of its items so <laughs> you know that BKC it really has my attention but it has me deterred cause like A I can't well no I can flip it though 100k 100k E for that is definitely flippable but it's like how many people are actually looking for that item for she that said price net. Fucking rest in peace, me. wow now they only have oh wow she had one yesterday bro <laughs> she had two I saw her type it in twice Unless she meant to say, she un said, unless she meant to say CTR. Man. That's weird. Unless, it, I don't know if it was someone else, but I swear it was her. Maybe she sold it already. Perhaps. Damn, bro. Pete's Snipe Perch. Do you know how much those are worth? I have no idea. You're I've, asking me. I've <laughs> seen a Sky Snipe Perch sell before. But, like, what do these even go on? Like, the fuck? Is on it your, on your stranger? Last CTR high. 80k. Mm. CTR isn't really... Amazing old blasters. I feel that. ASI Med Brand is 70k. Mm. Fire High Wolver Cap 100k. Mm. Twisted Spine Cone ECTR. Nope. Military Snowed Slime Wall. Nope. Wow, the auction house is dead. Now you guys see why I was so on the auction house yesterday. Like, yesterday it was bumping. Like, just look at my bids tab for like the past 40 hours. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I'm showing these guys on my screen like Celestial Mech Tennis I was bidding 40k on them I'm like should I buy them out I'm like nah bid 40k go to sleep wake up they've got bought out I'm like fuck <laughs> like jeez I bought out these starry eyes 20k bought out Celestial Overkill 250k Hollow Scarf got it for 50k bid and now Three I'm offering that to Rog are on short now for six something, 600 something k right for, for seven, 710 bruh bruh Shit. <laughs> I want to bid on that so bad. How much money do you have? I have like 5.6 KC and 130. Oh, I was going to say, I would have given you my crowns. I would have given you all my crowns if you gave me the C equivalent. I was sort of converted later on. But like, you I don't have enough. The, I bought the key, so. Mm. Damn. Yeah, I don't really want the tails anyways, but that's definitely profitable. Like, if I had the I money, I would have bid it on it. Them. Exactly. Cause like I removed mine off my VOG the other day and just like sell them. Cause like the guy was paying like a lot of money for them. I'm like, hey, I cannot pass this up. Hmm. One point three million get that every day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, if you guys can make a mill a day, like that's your goal. Bam, <laughs> a mill a day, <laughs> oh, like yeah. jeez. Just fucking, just keep on flipping tails, tails daily. It's fine. Yeah, like You'll if I <laughs> if I didn't wear my my celestial, I mean no, if I never wore my prismatic Valkyrie wings, I'd have like an additional 14k ZE just sitting here. But like, you know, I already have enough money to work with. Like, once I sell my umbra, I'll have some more crowns. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. And I still have the arcane, which no one really wants. <laughs> Rip. Malamoshi was like a broke troller who's like offering 45k ZE, and then like I went on my alt and I told him I'd have it. And then I'll do it for 40, and then he's like, I found someone for 30, and like, hey, I'll do 29. And he's all sarcastic, like, wow, 1 KCE, big, and he's like, claps, I'm like, wow. So <laughs> he's such a troll. Like, he's not, he probably doesn't even have the money. It's pretty funny. When people be jealous about your shit. Bro, like, I think he was, I think he knew I was selling it, because like, I was like the only person selling an Arcane Halo for like the past two months. Like, everyone knows I have it, you know? Like, I've been saying it for, like, the past while. Like, everybody knows if you want an Arcane Halo, go to Mini. But, like, I'm not gonna get rid of it for 20 KCE. Like, I know that it's rare, and nobody else has been selling one. So why am I gonna get rid of it super cheap if I can get more money? Like, I'm just waiting for that person. And it's all about patience, guy. Like, you know me. I'm an impatient kind of person. I'm really impatient. If you know me in real life... Or just know me, like, I'm impatient, but I've had this Arcane Halo super long. Like, things have came, things have gone, and this is still sitting here. Because and I'm not... Impatient. He's been in front of the auction house yesterday for two days straight. Well, I did have money <laughs> and food, so, like, I don't know, it wasn't that but bad. no sleep. Yeah, no sleep. <laughs> <laughs> there was one point when I was, like, kind of nodding off, though, like, nodding off on my keyboard, but then, like, I woke up a bit after, and then I was good. <laughs> Right, and then an item in the auction has caught your attention, you're wide awake. <laughs> <laughs> well, how'd you know? <laughs> I know you, boy. Don't kill me.
But yeah, guys, like those are those are like the tips that I have to say. Like Lawrence Bro is pretty good on that too. Looking for players who are quitting, like a lot of quitting sales on the forums. Like I'm not surprised if I just click forums right now and I'll find a quitting sale. Like it's that simple. Well, you'll probably find LELs. Yeah, LELs, Mega JXs. Dark Archangel is now inactive in the game. Like he's not playing as ping as playing as much. So, hmm. Let's see, quitting sale, quitting sale. Wanna buy a Celestial Orbit Gun? Hmm. Mini's Monstrous Market. This is my, my forum page if you guys want to check it out. Node is 116048. Um. Okay, that's weird. But yeah, like, quitting sales aren't really that hard to find in these. Like, I should be able to find, like, two in the first five pages. Like, let's see. I can find LELs and you'll see what kind of shit they have, like... LEL is kind of like a high-end player though, so you're not really gonna be able to afford kind much of. things. Oh yeah, I know, kind of, like, no, <laughs> is. Like, even I can't afford, like, half of the shit that he or she has up there, to be honest. At the moment, at least. Like, Dark Fang, I can't afford that. Swift Strike, Normal Max, I can. GM Voltages, like, I can, but I don't want to do that, because then I'll be broke. Who the fuck would buy a Swift Strike, Normal Max? I know, right? Like, like what's, <laughs> what's the point of that? Fire Max would actually be helpful, though, so you can at least walk through the fire breath without taking damage, but... Normal Max isn't gonna help shit. It just looks cool. Arcana ASIVH. It's just people to show off their money. Ventured has one of these for 14 KCE, by the way, which you could sell for a lot more, but... I don't know, like, I just didn't feel like buying one, because I already have an ASI High one. And then it's like, I'll just end up reselling it, but... Could I find a buyer for that? I don't know. I really don't. But yeah, like, you can kind of see the stuff that he or she has up there. They're all relatively nice. Another Twilight Aura, Twinkle Aura, Polar Leafy. Surge Realms, like, a lot of nice stuff, you know? And they're gonna be selling for, like, 20% less than market value, which is profitable. Like, when you're talking about 20% of, like, 10 KCE, that's a lot of money, that's 2 KCE. 20% of 100 KCE is 20 KCE, so, like, you know, you're making profit off of that. That's why I say you guys want to work to get up to the higher brackets in terms of your exchanges, like, your exchanges, your buys, and your sells. You want to work them to the higher brackets, because they're gonna be making more money per sale or per transaction. No, honestly, if you like have a couple hundred dollars in this game and you want to start making money, just buy a couple CSGO keys, you know, flip them for a lot of CE and just, like you only have to pay money once in this game, then you can just start merging and get some money. Boom, I found you, you, a, you, I found you a key to. buyer, bro. You found me a key buyer? And you guess how much he's paying. Uh, I don't know, 1.8. Huh. Damn, you're really, you're psychic. <laughs> you're psychic, I fam. I sold, I sold my last piece for 1.75, so... Wow. Wow, bro. 4 keys, 7.2 KCE, three, 2 keys, 3.6 KCE, like, damn. Mobile authenticated, like... Damn, <laughs> bro, like, here's a Steam profile, like, next time just add him up or something, like, jeez. <laughs> Cause yeah, like you guys can do that as you said. Like all you gotta do is spend money one time, really, and from there all you gotta do is like flip your money up, and you're good. Me, I was kind of like a lucky guy. I got a refund off of one of my Steam games, and like the money could not go back to my bank account, so I'm like, hey, I'll just spend it on SK. So I like bought some prize boxes, and I got like shit from them, like UV tickets. Like literally, I got like nine. I got nine one UV tickets, one. No, f 9 1 UV tickets, 4 2 UV tickets, and then 1 Celestial item. I don't even remember what it was, but it wasn't worth much. It's probably like a plume or some shit. Like, I got fucked. <laughs> I got wrecked, bro. Like, <laughs> so yeah, like, I, I wouldn't even do that again. Like, the first time I buy money, I mean, buy shit in a while, and that's what happens to me. Like, fuck you guys. Like, that's why I don't buy money, like, buy things directly from SK. Like, I'd always flip, flip things, you know, keys or Steam games, because this is more profitable. Yeah, never buy CE from the store. Never. Because you can literally get double just by selling CE Skokies. Exactly. Because, like, like, that's I'm what he was telling me. Like, even though I already knew it, he was telling me that. It's like, yo, I have money on this. It's like, either A, buy the boxes, or B, sell games. Because, like, buying energy directly just makes no sense if you can buy games. And, like, me being kind of impatient, I'm like, fuck the games. I'll just buy the boxes. I buy the boxes, I open and them, and them. I get <laughs> shit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's why you don't even bother. You don't even bother with SK. Like if these guys at least gave you good deals, then people would buy. Like I just don't understand. Like why are you guys gonna like give you shitty deals? 
It's like, if no one wants to buy from you because your deals are shitty, then no one's going to buy from you. They're like, hey, we're just going to like give these guys shitty deals so we can profit more because they'll, they'll want to buy more. It's like, no, they won't buy from you in the first place because their deals are shit. If you at least give 30k CE instead of 20k CE for the same price, then people will buy from you instead of selling Steam games. And then you'll actually make the money that you intend to make. You see how it works, SK? You see what I'm saying, Three Rings? <laughs> you gotta be selling CE for the same race or better rates than what people are selling Steam games for if you wanna make money. Nobody is gonna buy directly from you if they can sell Steam games. And if they're playing on a regular SK client, then you guys are you're at a, you're at a big loss. Like, you're actually at a loss there. But, uh, kind of. Not even a full loss, because you could still sell Steam games. You don't even need to have SK on Steam. You can just sell it normally. And they just trade you, but it's like... It's easier if you're on Steam, because then you can trade direct direct for direct, you know what I mean? So, it's nice, it's nice. I'm going to level up my Draken real quick. Just max him on out, choose his ultimates and shit. Oh no, I need ultimate Elo Catalyst rip. Rip. I know, right? There goes like 500 <laughs> freaking energy. <laughs> Alright. Just go ahead and pop it on Dude, in. Why are the C prices dropping so low? I wanna fucking flip my C. Like I need CR. <laughs> Let me buy more. Right now, I wanna focus on like doing some more FSC and like doing more lockdown and shit. Like buying C now is quite like smart actually, because it'll go back up to like 10k, and that's like 400 CR profit per. Exactly. Hundred C. Hmm. And uh, wait, what the hell? This makes no sense. Oh, so he needs to level up again after he gets a hundred. That's bullshit. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> I'm like he's a hundred. Like wow. shouldn't I be I'm like shouldn't I be choosing my ultimates right now? I'm like, bruh, I have exactly enough to level him up. Like I have one star left and he's the one star needed, like dude. Lucky. Okay, the last the last person you guys get is sword focus two at level hundred. Not even swift steps two, which is good. And technically you get Swift Steps 2 earlier then. Yeah, Wait, what? I still never got the chance to choose my ultimates, bro. Oh! Oh, we gotta click on it. Neck. <laughs> That's a neck mini. <laughs> Alright, select ultimate. Concussive Firebolt or Meteoric. Increases the size of the Firebolt's explosion. Adds a chance for powerful stun. I'm adding a stun. Fuck that shit. Let's go, dog. And I get wings, right? Oh, I don't get the wings on it? Damn. I think the wings are from the like from the shitty barrier that you get. I don't, the shitty barrier. I don't want the shitty barrier. I want the backfire barrier, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sad. All right, so now he's like upgrading and shit. He looks he looks pretty cool. But I wanted the wings on him though. Like, it's all right. Frenzied firestorm is what I need. And there's explosive firestorm, which does nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I made the, the ideal jack and he has hands. It's yeah, all nice. Hands gay. Yeah, it's like, yeah, why not give him wings, boy? Like, For real. I started just making stars. I'm like, screw giving him five star mats. I'll just give him stars. I, I have, don't even have Crimson Knight to make any stars. Rest in peace. Well, now I can find more Crimson Knight for you. I only have 21. I need 25 to make a star. But like, yeah, and when I, when I do runs, I'll just get Crimson Knight and I can make you stars too to help you out. You're not far away anyways, you're like no, five, like five levels. Level nine. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, bro, like, you're not even far. Mini bro. The barrier, like Mini bro. Levels. Mini bro, what a name. <laughs> so fucking gay. I named well, mine I Dragon Ball. I was called Minecraft bro back in the day, so I'm like, yeah, boy. Yeah. yeah. I'm like mini bro. Alright. But this yeah, it's... Dragon's like older than me. <laughs> I'm dying, yo. I'm like, I might rename from Mini the Monster to Mini the Rasta. <laughs> oh my god, no. I tribute to Bob Marley. You know? What do you think about that? Should I? <laughs> no, you shouldn't. <laughs> I like I like the monster name, though. But it's like, Mini the Rasta would be kind of funny to have, like, a bit. Like, even if I, like, just save an alt as Mini the Monster and, like, rename back to Monster later. You could make later. it, like, for a month just for fun. Yeah, like, I could do that, bro, like... Damn, bro, it's kind of tempting just to do. You know you want to. <laughs> I, I've been thinking about it all morning, bro. Like, <laughs> it's on the back of my head. Is that Myra C online with a name change? Like, damn. Oh my god, he's actually gonna do it. 
Bro, I'm you not joking. You guild the fucking Rasta clan. Oh no, Rasta's ink. <laughs> <laughs> Rasta, oh no. Nah, bro, like... The Rasta region. Alright, <laughs> um... Nah, god, he's actually gonna do it. Mini the Rasta, bro, let's fucking go, dog. And I'll just, like, make an alt and save it. How much are the tails right now? Yeah, these aren't even going for any good prices right now, so like I'm not gonna go after them. Seven hundred and ten. Admirer, I can get them for like sixty k each, and then the tails, tails, damn, they'll sell for less than eight hundred k. If they sell for eight hundred k or less, I'm gonna cry. I'm oh, actually gonna cry. Them. I'm gonna cry, bro. Especially because I could fucking buy them if Rock would get his fat ass on by me and like give me my one million CR. Like, bro. But he said he said like two hours, so I'm basically shit out of luck. The hell? Oh, that's a Steam community, okay. Alright, he's like, I'll be there. Dude, you could easily sell the tails, tails for like one mil CR and probably more. Depends on how fast you want to sell them. I'm just telling Rock to get his ass online because there's something on short and then you need the money. Oh, huh, wow, nice. Yeah. Hopefully he responds. Eh. It says he's offline, but like, you know, that's how Discord is. Like, even though it says they're offline, they're not always offline. That's what I realized. Oh, yeah, I'm getting some CE for 9 point. Okay. I'm gonna grab some more. Oh, dude, my fucking Atch, like, my Atron's level 9 as well. I have to do some more Vanna. You know, actually, I'm gonna save on the CE for now. You never know, the prices may continue going down. Um, by the looks of it, they probably are, but I don't expect them to go down too much. Yeah. And they're for sure gonna go back up. I only have 280k anyways, I'm not really that rich in crowns, so I might as well save what I got. I did recommend not going under 500k, but it's like, for me, I already have shit I'm flipping, so... I'm not really worried about that. If I need money badly, then I can always get it, but... Oh, uh, it's whatever. Alright, so... Hopefully I didn't bore these guys out with my video. I think we did good. It's only like five hours long, but it's okay. Yeah, it's only like 500 <laughs> gigabytes. It'll only use up like half of my unlimited bandwidth, you know? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, man. What else do I have I here? Like, Canada's going to cut off your internet because you're costing too much. <laughs> Are you looking to buy anything? <laughs> Me? Please. Yeah. I'll flip you some yeah. stuff right now, boy. Give me some Fucking moon tails. Oh, I have no tails. Damn. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Not well. even your tails, boy, because you'd only fucking sell for full price. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't buying that shit. <laughs> yeah, I sell for full price, bro. Like that's me. Like ne never. That's another fucking pro tip. If you want to flip shit, never buy off of a merch, cause he will. Like, yeah, that's that's the price. thing. Like you guys cannot buy off a of merchants if you expect to profit Don't. off them. Like merchants know their values. Yeah. They'll be like, dude, like I know how Don't much this is worth. Like, buy off you need yeah, like <laughs> if you, if you want a profit, just don't come to me. For the most part, like <laughs> I mean, if I had like something I got super cheap, like my like my celestial Wolvertail that I got for two fifty k, like don't expect me to give it to you for, like four fifty k, but like six hundred k, I would probably consider, you know. But yeah, like there's some nice merchants. You know, if you just act nice to them, don't be a that, dick. You yeah, know, that's they'll true. They'll give you a good deal. Like there are nice ones out there. Yeah, like there are nice ones out there, and they will be nice to you in return if you like respect them and like you give them a decent like, offer. Take take your time. Don't rush them into selling their stuff for you know. Like don't lowball them basically. Yeah, <laughs> People pretty much. People hate lowballing. Indeed, especially merchants. They feel like it's like an act of disrespect it's towards like them. It's like an insult. Exactly. <laughs> Like, like, yo, if I get something and you guys are gonna, like, yo, someone offered me 10 k's each for my Arcane Halo, bro, like, I almost, I almost, wow. I almost put them on ignore. <laughs> I almost did, like, I thought they were trolling me or something, because it's like, dude, even Prismatic Halos sell for more than 10 k's E, and this is worth, like, three times as much as Prismatic Halo, or two times, at least two times, two times as much, it's fair to say, like, 28 k's E, yeah. This is worth two times as much as Prismatic Halo, like, pff, pff, 10 k's E, pff, pff, pff. what is it like to you, frickin' Valkwings? <laughs> Yeah, guys, but that's it from us, me and Lawrence. We're the little, little merchants in progress, you know? 
I used to merch a bit. Yeah, like I, I'm like a medium merchant right now. Like I started a while back, and now I'm getting back into it. And then Lord's Bro is just getting into it, but he's doing good. He's doing pretty good so far. Proud of him. Good doggy. Oh, cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Um, let's see. He's gonna be richer than his fucking master boy. Dead. I'm gonna have to go cash in my 30 tokens soon, though. So I'm gonna go do that. So I don't look super poor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that 30k is gonna fucking save your ass, isn't it? Yeah, it will. It'll put me over 280k. It'll put me over 300k. Instead of my CR starting with a 2, it'll start with a 3. It'll make a big difference to me. <laughs> it'll boost your ego. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. I'll feel like, hey, I have 300k instead of 200k. <laughs> Alright. Storar is about to log online. <sighs> Alright. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I shall show you guys some more merching techniques. Well, I think I covered a whole lot of that, but you know, I'll show you guys some more entertaining we'll videos. Like on our progress. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. He's just like filling in everything that I failed to say pretty much. <laughs> He's like my autocorrect in a way. Oh, uh, someone's buying Dusky Verts. Ooh, I had those. Yeah, but I, or had. I had, but I sold them for 100k. Uh, I got them for like, what, 700 CE? It's pretty good. Wait, what the fuck am I doing here? I'm supposed to be going here. I went to the alchemy machine instead of the vendoring guy. Yesterday I spent like over 100k on personal color changes, eh? That's how you know you're freaking. Wow. <laughs> Cause listen, I bought Ultramarine. And for 50k, and it didn't work with my Celestial Spike Mohawk. I'm like, what the hell? It was darker. So then I went ahead and I talked to Bloody. He's like, yo, I would have given you mine for free. And I'm like, it's okay, I don't even like it. He's like, okay, I'll, I have a Cyan one that's lighter. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. I buy it off him for 10k, and then he ends up giving me back the money because like, he's like, I'll give it to you for free, so whatever. But I didn't like it, you know? So I ended up changing again. I went back to the guild hall, and I bought Cyan, no, Cobalt. I bought Cobalt this time. And luckily it finally works, but that's me spending like 100k on freaking color changes, like... Pfft. Like, you know? <laughs> it's so weird. Within a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, literally. Like, oh, it doesn't go with my mohawk. Changes. Shit, it doesn't work either. Changes. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that works. It reminds me of the story of... What's it called? The story of the bears and the porridge. Like, one of those kid stories. You know, like, where like, the bear wasn't satisfied with, like, the bed and the porridge? What's it called? Oh, oh my god, yeah, yeah, it's that story, you know, like, I wasn't satisfied, <laughs> and then, like, this one is just right. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> okay. This color is too light, this one's too dark, and this, this one's just dark. right. <laughs> you got that perfect. Wow. Yo, I just came to punch, I don't even need to roll, like, what am I doing here, Mini? Like, just get away. Okay, peace out, guys. Peace out. Alright.